the U.S. Coast Guard is tasked with protecting and rescuing its citizens in danger, as well as safeguarding the nation from all maritime threats, including national security, border security, and economic well-being in the maritime environment. The USCG has been in existence since 1790, and it has always been ready around the clock, seven days a week, and 365 days a year, in accordance with its motto, Semper Paratus, which means always ready. To support their various operations, they require USCG boats with the most advanced features. These vessels are specifically designed not to capsize, even in the midst of large waves and adverse weather conditions at sea. They are built to assist Coast Guards in performing various extreme operations at sea. So, how do these vessels work to remain afloat in the rough seas? Several types of Coast Guard vessels, such as the 47-foot motor lifeboat, are commonly used by the U.S. Coast Guard for search and rescue operations at sea. This is because these vessels can move quickly and operate in rough sea conditions. They also have an incredible feature, the ability to self-right if overturned by waves. They can perform a full 360-degree rotation underwater in just 10 seconds. To achieve this self-righting capability, these vessels are equipped with built-in ballast and have weight distribution designed to ensure a very low center of gravity and a high center of buoyancy. In this configuration, an overturned boat will automatically right itself. Furthermore, the 47-foot motor lifeboat is designed to remain at sea for extended periods without needing to refuel. This enables the Coast Guard vessel to cover long distances while on patrol. These vessels, with a length of approximately 14 meters, are manufactured by the American company Textron Marine. A total of 227 units were delivered as per the agreement and officially entered operational service in 1997. Building a 47-foot motor lifeboat requires an investment of $1.2 million. Before the 47-foot motor lifeboat, its predecessor, the 44-foot motor lifeboat, began operating in 1966. This vessel became one of the most legendary boats ever owned by the U.S. Coast Guard. Over its 44 years in service, the 44-foot motor lifeboat influenced the design of search and rescue vessels worldwide. The vessel was designed for very specific conditions and ease of handling. Most Coast Guard crews favored its speed, weight, draft, strength and capacity. Similar to the 47-foot motor lifeboat, the 44-foot motor lifeboat was equipped with features that allowed it to self-right when hit by large waves. In summary, the 47-foot motor lifeboat is an advanced version of its predecessor, with improved speed, better crew protection, and enhanced maritime endurance. It has a length of 14 meters, a width of 4 meters, a draft of 1.37 meters, and a weight of up to 20 tons. This vessel can carry a minimum of 4 crew members and 30 passengers. Its hull and upper structure are made of 5,456 marine-grade aluminum, with a frame consisting of 17 vertical bulkheads. Each of them is welded to the deck and hull of the ship, with seven of them being watertight. This design allows the 47-foot motor lifeboat to withstand extreme weather, hurricanes and waves as high as 9 metres. Additionally, the vessel can withstand winds of up to 60 knots, or approximately 111 kilometres per hour. The Coast Guard vessel also features a hull that is capable of breaking light ice surfaces, Furthermore, it must maintain its watertight integrity, as any breach could lead to flooding and sinking.
To support this, the 47-foot motor lifeboat is equipped with seven primary watertight compartments and enclosed buoyancy tanks located above the flying bridge. These watertight compartments are located in the rotational center of the ship and are also equipped with comprehensive first aid equipment for use at sea. The flying bridge provides unlimited visibility for the crew and a fly-by-wire control system located throughout the ship for maximum safety and efficiency. The fly-by-wire system allows the ship to be operated from four different locations, including two from the close bridge and two in the middle of the ship. Interestingly, in three control locations, the fly-by-wire system allows the ship's helm to be controlled using a joystick. This is uncommon, as most other ships are typically steered using conventional steering wheels. Another feature of the vessel is several sealed windows on the bridge equipped with sensors that can detect water. If the ship capsizes and the cabin floods, these windows will open automatically allowing the water to drain after the vessel comes to a stop. The ship also has hidden retrieval wells located on the hull and less than one meter above the water's surface. This facilitates the rescue of people and the boarding process. To power the vessel, the 47-foot motor lifeboat is equipped with two Detroit diesel engines, each equipped with a six-cylinder, two-stroke, turbocharged and after-cooled marine diesel engine each producing 435 horsepower. This means the total power to propel the 47-foot motor lifeboat is 870 horsepower. These engines can drive the vessel at a maximum speed of 25 knots, or 46 kilometers per hour, and an optimal cruising speed of 22 knots, or 40 kilometers per hour. In addition to powerful engines, the vessel also requires an ample supply of fuel. As a result, it has a fuel capacity of 1,500 litres, providing it with a range of 200 nautical miles or 370 kilometres. At the stern of the vessel, there is an electronically controlled winch and a 2-inch towing line that is over 90 metres long. The vessel has a 3 quarters of an inch towing line that is 274 metres long making it suitable for towing vessels with a higher displacement of up to 150 tons. Given its features and facilities, it's no wonder that the 47-foot motor lifeboat performs exceptionally well in various missions, including search and rescue, border patrols, law enforcement and environmental and disaster relief operations. Over 26 years, this vessel has repeatedly proven itself as a platform with unmatched stability, reliability and survival capabilities. The US Coast Guard crew members who operate the 47-foot motor lifeboat are called surfmen. To become a surfman, continuous training and certification are required to operate the 47-foot motor lifeboat effectively and without hindrance. One of the institutions that provide training for surfmen is the National Motor Lifeboat School, located in Ilwaco, Washington. At this school, aspiring surfmen are trained to operate the 14-meter motor lifeboat in the most extreme conditions. One of the training exercises involves squaring up, where they position the bow of the boat into oncoming waves. Surfmen must also navigate parallel to the waves, a hazardous but necessary skill. Those who pass and meet the requirements are authorized to operate the motor lifeboat, receive the surfman badge and obtain certification. To become more skilled and professional, six to eight years of work experience are required for a surfman they must continue to learn to operate the 47-foot motor lifeboat effectively and handle unstable sea conditions. While on duty, surfmen must also wear special clothing, sometimes even three layers of specialized clothing. These layers include a wicking layer, an insulation layer, and an outer layer to keep them dry. Another crucial aspect they need to prepare before their duty 
is to have additional safety equipment such as life jackets, flares, helmets, and a heavy weather belt ready. The heavy weather belt allows surfmen to remain connected to the vessel, even if the vessel is hit by waves or even overturned during operations. Within a surfman team, there are several crew positions with their respective roles on the vessel. First, there is the coxswain, responsible for operating and navigating the vessel, as well as providing commands and crew coordination during operations. Second, there is the engineer, responsible for the maintenance, operation and mechanical systems of the 47-foot motor lifeboat. Third, there are general crew members who work under the direction of the coxswain and engineer. Typically, general crew members have various duties such as deploying and recovering equipment, assisting in search and rescue operations, providing medical assistance and maintaining communication with other vessels and shore stations. The number and specific crew positions may vary depending on operational requirements, conditions and the specific missions. Additionally, the United States Coast Guard has a rank structure based on experience, qualifications and career progression. When operating the 47-foot motor lifeboat, the crew is assisted by various advanced systems on board, including VHF, satellite communication and other specialized equipment to facilitate efficient coordination and response. The vessel is also equipped with advanced radar technology to allow the crew to detect and track other vessels, land and potential hazards, even in limited visibility conditions. Navigation and radar play a crucial role in helping surfmen reach their destination and carry out rescue missions effectively. In addition to radar and navigation, the motor lifeboat is equipped with GPS, a chart plotter, and electronic navigation charts. This advanced technology provides accurate position data for route planning and real-time information about navigation hazards. This technology can even generate real-time information about navigation hazards. To operate in low-light conditions or at night, the vessel is also equipped with powerful spotlights to assist the crew in locating the vessel or individuals in distress. In conclusion, surfmen and U.S. Coast Guard vessels have played a vital role in various missions at sea, including search and rescue operations. Thanks to their service, many people and vessels have been saved from perilous situations.